What's up guys? Balmut here. So, you got your ass kicked by Fry, the first boss. That's okay, it happens to all of us. And I'm here to help you with this boss. And in case you're wondering, no, I didn't steal this video, it's mine. The only difference is, it's from another channel of mine in another language. So, subscribe, hit the like button, and let's get right to it. Okay, uh, guidelines. Long range weapons for this boss. Hollow Seeker, Carbine, you know. And uh, you can also go with the pistol, but try avoiding the shotgun if this is your first run. And uh, as for items, you're gonna see that in every single boss, I'm gonna go with the bare minimum, so I won't ask you to bring a whole lot of stuff. You know, maybe a health item or two if you can, but I'll usually try to gear you towards beating the boss without anything. So here he comes. Yes, yes, a face only a mother could love. Take a look at that, god damn it. Ah, uh, you should have stayed on the ground, my friend. Okay, so, Blue Spheres, sidestep. Blue Stream, actually, sidestep. Purple Rain, situational. Try finding the best spot, not hard to dodge. And I'm gonna call this red attack the Key Blast. And then he goes with the beam. On the first stage, he'll only shoot it vertically. From down to up, so, sidestep. Whenever I say sidestep, I mean dodge. Blue Stream again. Purple Rain, you know, situational. But don't let that distract you. This attack is more of a bait than anything else. And as for the Key Blast, pay attention to it. Don't always dodge to the same direction because he will try to anticipate your trajectory. Blue Stream. Just to the side. Purple Rain, you know, Diversion Tactics. Followed by a Key Blast. Yeah, this, you know, the Vertical Beam is the strongest attack in this phase. When he teleports, you may be tempted to go for a Sword Strike of your own. But I don't recommend you do that, okay? Especially on phases 2 and 3, and pretty soon you understand why. Bow Stream, just sidestep. Easy. Blue Stream again, followed by Purple Rain, and Key Blasts. Like I said, with the Key Blasts, don't always dodge to the same side, that's important, because he will try and anticipate your movements. So, okay, Phase 2, he's gonna uh, mix things a little bit, and he has a new attack. So, he opens with Purple Rain, then the Beam. Stream, you know, so far, no news. Here comes a different attack. So whenever he does, he focuses energy on the ground, he's gonna come at you full force with a sword swipe of his own. Usually what you're gonna do is you're gonna dodge the sword swipe first and then as soon as you land or finish dashing, you are gonna avoid the ring. And now you can see that his beam will also be shot in a horizontal manner, which is from left to right or right to left. And when he comes at you with his sword swipe, just dodge, dash. Blue Stream. You see, the thing about... Uh, here comes the ring attack again. See, jump, dodge, then jump, dodge again. You see, the main thing with this boss is don't pay attention just to the attack that he's currently doing because he will chain attacks for the whole battle. So, for example, if you focus only on the key blast, then you could get hit by this, the horizontal beam. So, you know, always pay attention to his current attack and his next one. You know, whenever he charges at you, just dodge. Here comes the vertical beam. Remember, he will mix vertical and horizontal. Now comes phase three. It's pretty much the same thing with a few differences. His sword swipes, you can see that he now will try sometimes to chain more than one. And now we have a purple sphere uh, assault on the ground. And we also have a shower of blue stream projectiles, but they're pretty simple to dodge, you just have to pay attention on both things at the same time. He pulled a double purple rain with a vertical beam. Remember, the purple rain is a diversionary attack. And here, on phase 3, he will summon two energy rings, so be ready for this. And if you fight it all too much, if you find the third phase too much, then what I recommend you to do is dodge everything, focus only on dodging, and when he goes for the key blasts, 
that is the safest moment for you to shoot him. Okay, don't be embarrassed. If you, that's what you're gonna do, then that's what you're gonna do. And for the horizontal beam, now he's gonna swipe in both directions. He's gonna go and come back. So remember, dodge twice. Sword swipe. I don't know if I said this, but I really recommend that on phases two and three, you don't attack him as soon as he finishes the sword swipe. Wait until he does something else. Because, you know, he may go for a single attack, he may go for two. So there we have it, the key blasts. See, like I said, he's gonna try and anticipate your trajectory, so don't just go one way. And there you have it, that's the first boss. So if you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe because I'm gonna tell you how to defeat every single boss. Again, bare minimum requirements. I have a few strats, a few awesome strats that I have to show you, including a button configuration on your controller that's gonna change everything. Oh, there is my Portuguese logo. I love it so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later.